James White's Ford is important to Knoxville because actually it's Knoxville's first home, the very beginning of Knoxville. 1786, James White came into this area, claimed a thousand acres, which is all of downtown Knoxville, which is all around the fort right here, as his claim for being a revolutionary general. We do have a Cherokee Heritage Day we have in June. Uh, it, it brings back to the Treaty of the Holston, which James White did that with the 49 Indian chiefs of this area in the courtyard here to get land, settlement, and also prosperous for the more settlers coming in this area. We have the Cherokee Indians at that time coming. We also have open hearth cooking, blacksmithing, all the aspects of the fort the way it was in the 1700s. Uh, without this fort, it would really be a great treasure lost in this area because this is Knoxville's first home and the beginning of a great city and a great state that also happened in 1796 where we came to 16th State of the Union with William Blunt, John Sevier, and James White.